Well, hi everybody, it's time to shave and I got a huge box of goodies from my friend Ben out there. Thank you, Ben, for saying that. I'm gonna show that all to you right now. I'm only gonna shave with uh, three items today uh, from that box. Here's the nice card he sent. So Sinatra, thank you so much for your great videos. Please use these items or pass them along. Signed, Ben. So thank you, Ben. I got this thing and I opened it up and I could not believe how much stuff was in here. I certainly don't deserve it. And I think I will have to pass some of this stuff on because I simply can't use all of it. But let me show you what I got. First of all, this one, because of the scent, and I've never heard of this, K-Shave Works, Cherry Fougere. Oh, I love anything cherry. I love menthol, I love cherry. Oh, I already used this one actually, so this stuff smells so good. I'll shave with this later. And then I got, he also, this is, I mean, this is, this is too much. I certainly don't deserve this, but I really appreciate it. Sterling Barbershop. Now I've had the, the beard oil, so I knew what this smelled like, but it, it smells a little bit like, what does it smell like to me? It smells almost like a cotton candy scent. Do you know what I'm talking about? Have you ever tried this stuff? Barbershop. And then he got me five different Parasso products. Here we go. We got the Crema Pre Barba. We got the pre-shaving cream. Then we got Parasso White. Oh, this stuff smells good. I've, I've only used the red and the green, so this will be fun to try out. And then we got not one, not two, but three different bottles of aftershave. Look at this. Look at this. It's too much. It's too much. We got, uh, we got the uh, Balsamo Dopo Barba Rinfrescante. That may be, I, it's not Italian. It sounds more like a Spanish accent. And then we got the Sensitive Skin Aftershave Balm. And then we've got the uh, aftershave lotion, refreshing with eucalyptus oil and menthol. So we got all that, all that Parasso stuff. I'm not done. I got five more things here. The last three I'm going to shave with, or I'm going to use today. Then we got, you guys know I've been using Chella for a while. He sent me aftershave lotion and aftershave balm. So I got both of these, the Chella. I was a little disappointed they didn't smell like the almond cherry, but they smell very pleasant for what they are. And then finally, what I'm gonna shave with today, I know, I know, is the Chella Green. So this is the shaving cream in green. I've never, I didn't even know they had it. I've never really looked into it, but we're gonna use this today to shave with. What does it smell like? It smells like just a, just a, a mild soapy smell. And then for aftershave, he not only sent me aftershave balm, but also aftershave lotion the cella in green. So I'm gonna use both of these for my aftershaves. I'm gonna put on the, the balm first and then the lotion, cause they both, I just smelled the, they smell good, they smell good. So that's it, that's all I got. Thank you again, Ben. Uh, I usually try to um, tell people, no, please don't send me anything, but he showed me a picture of what all the stuff was. I was like, I gotta try it. So thanks, I appreciate it. All right, let's start shaving. I took a shower, I did my hair, I'm gonna put some hot water on my face. I did not shave yesterday. I think I shaved Saturday, but I can't remember. And I'm gonna use, I'm gonna revisit the old uh, King C Gillette, but with a feather blade in it this time. So it's a nice razor, I'm gonna try it. A lot of people were saying they love that razor. And I'm gonna use the, uh, just grab this one out of here, the West Coast Synthetic, and we're gonna lather up with the cella. I didn't know cella had so much stuff. I've been enjoying trying to pronounce the Italian on these things. Col Con allontoina i pantenolo al burro de carité. I don't know if that's right. I don't know if any of this is right. Is anything right? Yes, some things are right. <laughs> I'm talking about. All right, here we go. We're lathering up here. It's looking good. I'm gonna put this down. This is a very, very mild scent, but it's a very pleasant, soapy barbershop he sent. Now, I don't think the barbershop from Sterling smells like a barbershop. I think it smells like like a little cotton candy or something. It's interesting that they chose that as a barbershop smell. I more uh, think about barbershop smells as being just like a real clean, crisp soap. And that's with this. This is the aloe vera cella. So maybe it'll be good for more sensitive skin. All right. 
King C. Gillette with a feather blade in it. Remind myself how this thing shaves. It's got a good handle length. The razor's cold. Shaving razor's cold and it stings. You know that old monkey song? Yeah, well, my shaving razor was just cold, but it's not stinging. Now, is this an aggressive razor? I don't know. I, I've seen some people say it was too mild for them. I can feel the blade. I feel that some razors, kind of like the Rockwell or the America razor, or even some of my vintage Gillettes, they kind of kind of hide the feel of the blade, but I'm, I feel like I'm feeling it here. And the razor I've used that I felt the most blade, which is why I never used it, was the Mula R41. So I don't think this is a mild razor. I think it's medium to aggressive. But that's just my opinion. I could be wrong. That's what it feels like on my face. Yeah, very pleasant smell on this cello. It lathered beautifully. I'm sure it's available anywhere. Fine shaving products are available. And uh, so you can try it out for yourself. I'm sure it's not very expensive. It's kind of like one of those brands that's been around forever. It's made in Milan. Yeah, since 1899. So there you go. 122 years old. I did that math on the fly. I think it was right. I think it was pretty close. Yeah, it feels so good to shave after being scruffy. I don't like feeling scruffy. I know you're not supposed to be touching your face so much these days with everything that's going on. But I uh, find myself rubbing my face or touching my face a lot. At least my cheeks, you know. All right, there's the first pass. There's still some good amount of whiskers on there, so let's take all that and get rid of it. So maybe it is, maybe it, maybe the King C. Gillette feels aggressive, but acts mild. Because an aggressive one will take down those whiskers pretty quick, but I felt more whiskers after that first pass than I do with other razors that I use. Ah. <sighs> Ah, uh, you see, you know, you, <laughs> I try not to do that thing. You see a lot of wet YouTube wet shavers do. They just endlessly lather up their face. And I know why they do it. It just feels pleasant to slap yourself around with this <laughs> silly shaving brush. I get it. I have to stop myself so you're not sitting there. It's like, gosh, how many times are you going to put that on? You know, I have some shout outs, but I forgot to get my iPad to be able to read them out. So if you've asked for a shout out recently, don't worry, I've got it. I've got it. It's just on my iPad. I forgot to get it. But like I said before, we don't want this to turn to the old shout out show every single episode. Because that can be tedious for the non shouted out. All right. You know, I really don't think that I would have invested money in buying all this stuff. So thanks again, Ben, for giving me an opportunity to try something I probably wouldn't have. Because I'm not one of those guys that needs to go out and buy every single thing, you know? First of all, I don't have the money to do that, and I don't have the inclination. I just kind of like having the things that I like, you know? I just noticed in the video my farmer's tan. I'm starting to starting to get that summertime again. Gonna have to get some sun on my shoulders taking my walks. Otherwise you guys make fun of my farmer's tan. <laughs> Pretty much my whole life has been one giant farmer's tan. I'm very fair skinned so I burn very easily. But I can get a little bit of color in my skin. I know it's not healthy, but it looks healthy. <laughs> And isn't that good enough? It looks okay. <laughs> All right. Second pass. I still got a fair amount of whiskers there. Huh. 
I'm kind of beginning to think that it is a mild razor, but I just, the feel of it feels aggressive. Hmm. Interesting. I'm glad I'm taking a second look at it. Okay. That wasn't too long, was it? <laughs> if it was, too bad. Hey, somebody said... I was complaining about beige in some recent video while I stand in a beige bathroom. Yeah, that's, that's fair. That's fair. I don't remember. Was I complaining about beige? I can't remember what I was talking about. I don't. As soon as I'm done recording these things, I forget all about them. So sometimes when you guys reference something from a previous video, I'll be like, what the heck are they talking about? Oh, man. I can't imagine going back and actually listening to myself in these videos. Although, coming up in July, because it's going to be the 10 year anniversary of my first shaving video, it was July 2011, I'm going to set it up so that we can do a live stream where I watch it. Kind of like, you know, you watch those gamers where you see their little image down in the corner and you're watching the game. I'm going to set that up so I can be down in the corner while we watch my first at least the first two, maybe three shaving videos. Because they're so long ago, I was so young. It was like 10 lifetimes ago, it feels like. And about 30 pounds. <laughs> Which I need to start working on soon. Oh, gosh. Oh, boy. All right. Having said all that <laughs> about this razor, <laughs> what what are you talking about? I think I still think it's a good razor. It's a good entry level razor. Some people were leaving comments saying they like found them on sale for like five bucks in places. So keep your eyes out. They probably go on clearance. I wonder what the market is like for safety razors these days. There's got to have been an uptick, right? Seems like the younger generations are more interested in this kind of stuff. I mean, I've always been interested in things of the past and history and and to be able to take something, technology from the past and actually use stuff from the past in your daily life and it works well. I, that's what's exciting, even though this isn't a vintage razor, you know. All right, got to get that last one. Oh, I don't know if you can tell. The last time I shaved it must have been Saturday. I cut my earlobe. No, I didn't get my ear pierced at the mall to have one of those little uh, roach clip feather... Uh, Earrings they used to wear in the 80s. Uh, do you remember those? My God, roach clip. Do they still call those things that? I don't know. I'm not savvy when it comes to that world. All right. Let's wash off, shall we? Well, that was a weird voice. And then, let's use the two cella. Balsamo dopo barba. I'm assuming dopo barba means post shave, after shave. And the lozione dopo barba. Lozione. Rinfrescante e tonificante. Al aloe vera. After shave lotion. And it's extra, extra bio organic, whatever that means. All right, so this is the. Oh, yeah, this is the actual after shave. Like, you know, like aftershave, like you think of almost like a cologne. I'm going to put that on the last. And I'm going to take the Balsamo Dopo Barba Peli Sensibili al Aloe Vera. So sensi uh, uh, sensitive for sensitive skin. I'm assuming. Italian friends, please help me. So this is the lotion, so it's not going to burn. But I'm going to put this on first. And I think they both smell a little bit different. But they're both pleasant. All right, so it's a little tiny hole. Look at that. Just going to use... Oh, look how skinny that looks like a little spaghetti. Look at that. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, that smells good. It smells Italian, you know? It doesn't smell like your typical American scent that we might use over here. I like that. It smells international, ladies. I don't know what that means. All right. So that's good. That feels good. Good stuff, man. Cella. And then this cool little glass. Thick glass. I like these. Oh, 
this smells good. These things, they've been in the business a long time. They know what they're doing. Yeah, it does smell different. I can't explain the smell. It's just a nice, clean, fresh, sort of masculine. There's a bit of a powderiness to it. Um, boy, I don't know. It just smells good. Yeah, there you go. There you have it. A shave brought to you by Ben. Thanks, Ben. Thanks again. And I'm going to shave with all this stuff, at least what else I can. Um, I got two more shaving soaps. I got five aftershave lotions and balms. Oh, no, I got another one. I forgot. I got three more and a pre-shave. So I got a lot ahead of me. So don't go anywhere, folks, because I'm not going to. I'm going to be right here on Friday. Won't you come visit me then? I hope you will. All right, everybody. Have a good week. See ya.